This is a review of my Leica CL accessories and camera bag. I'll start with the exterior of the bag and move on uh, to what's inside and what accessories I have for the CL camera. For the bag, I chose the Billingham Hadley Small Pro shoulder bag with the Fibernite uh, black material and black leather accents. Uh, the benefits to this bag is it's very water resistant. Uh, it has an inner lining of rubberized material so uh, water can't soak through. And it has a very good build quality and lots of padding on the inside. Uh, the shoulder strap is detachable um, and it's made of a canvas material. There is an available shoulder pad you can attach here. Uh, but that's extra. I think they should have just included it with the bag. Uh, but the leather accents are really good quality, very thick. Uh, there's some leather lining beneath the handle on top. Uh, I don't really like the branding here on the front. I wish that was just blank. Uh, but uh, otherwise it looks really nice. There is a zip compartment in the back and I just have the quick start guide in here to the camera and so, some of the warranty cards. Uh, there's quick release tabs on the front to open it. They're still a little bit stiff right now but that should loosen up. There's some adjustability using the buckles on the leather uh, straps on the front here. It has a green lining material and a flap here with some extra padding. So on the inside um, I have the Leica CL camera with, uh, with one lens attached and I have uh, two other lenses in there. So uh, with that set up there's not much of extra room in there. So Everything fits fine right now, but if I wanted to get extra lenses, it would probably wouldn't fit in this bag. I'll just start out with the front flaps first. Um, here I put the charger that came with the camera and the cable and an extra battery. Uh, the extra battery is a Panasonic battery which I got on Amazon and it was half the price of the regular Leica battery but I'm not really worried it, that it will damage my camera it's the same uh, voltage as the Leica battery and in this pocket uh, I have the Apple SD card reader with the uh, USB USB-C and then there's some extra silk bags that came with the camera and lenses. The uh, pockets are expandable with an extra snap here, but I haven't had to use that capacity yet. So going on to the inside of the bag, there's a lot of padding uh, which helps protect the camera and the contents, so I'm not really worried about anything uh, scratching or getting damaged but the extra padding does take up extra room on the interior uh, so here is the lens pouch for the lens I have attached to the camera and I've uh, put the camera on its side here And this is my 35 millimeter lens with the lens hood on. And it has these dividers that come with the bag so you can customize how many compartments you want in it. So uh, I have two, ver uh, two vertical compartments and then I have two horizontal compartments on, on within each compartment. You could take this out and have one large compartment or you could put 
uh, this one over here and have three compartments. But on this side, I have my largest lens, which is the 60 millimeter lens with the lens hood and then here below the camera I have my smallest lens which is the 18 millimeter 2.8 lens so that's basically the empty bag and here's what I have that fits in the bag So on the camera itself, I have uh, three accessories. I'm not counting the camera strap. This came with the camera, but I really like uh, the leather on this camera strap. And it's a nice size. Um, I got the screen protector from Leica. Uh, it, came, it comes with uh, two in a pack. Uh, but when you're applying this screen protector, you have to be very careful that you don't get any dust uh, on the LCD screen before you put it on. So the first one I tried wasn't staying on properly, so this is the second attempt, and that's worked out pretty well. Um, it is a little bit overpriced but I think it's worth it. The second accessory is the thumbs up accessory which I have attached here. It just attaches to the hot shoe on top. And it does have padding in between the uh, accessory and the camera so it doesn't damage the camera. Uh, the material is very high quality. It looks like it's the same exact material as the top plate of the camera and is very sturdy and it helps uh, getting an extra grip especially with my heavier lenses uh, so I do like this thumbs up accessory but um, it is uh, very expensive uh, I, I think it's overpriced I'm not sure why uh, that costs so much and then the last accessory is the grip accessory which is attached which is attached here it attaches um, with the screw at the bottom and it does have some suede uh, lining uh, to protect the camera It really helps to get more grip with the heavier lenses and it gives the camera a different look also. Uh, with the bottom it adds a little bit of height to the camera which, which I like. I'll just take off the lens to get a better look. but I do ha like how it, the hand grip looks. There's an extra screw here for the finger loop which I didn't get and I don't think I really need that but if, uh, if I had a very heavy lens that would give either even extra protection uh, to hold the camera. And then one more accessory that didn't fit in the bag uh, is my tripod. I got this one, one from Siryu. It's the tabletop tripod. And um, I haven't used it much yet, but it's, it's a very high quality feeling tripod. It's all metal construction. It's pretty heavy. Looks very durable. 
and it has lots of adjustment options on it. So um, it comes with this uh, with the pouch, but I have to carry this separately in my backpack because it doesn't fit in my camera bag. Uh, so I do recommend all of these accessories um, if uh, you don't mind paying the extra premium. Um, if you have any questions on anything in particular, uh, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.